if you're eating cereal, there's a good chance that you're eating the main ingredient in paint thinner, <gasps> trisodium phosphate. And direct contact of trisodium phosphate, it's a poison. So why is it allowed in food? Why is it allowed in cereal? Well, it's an inorganic phosphate additive, and it's generally recognized as safe by the FDA. Amounts that are allowed in food are less than 0.5%. Higher amounts will actually affect the taste of whatever it's put in. In fact, in 2019, General Mills was being called out for adding trisodium phosphate in their cereals, and this is what they had to say. They said, we do use TSP in some of our cereal. We care deeply about what we put into our food, and safety is our number one priority. We would never use ingredients that are not safe. We use small amounts of TSP, which is a type of salt to help improve the flavor, color, and texture. Thanks. And they're correct in saying that it's a type of salt, and it is used in more than just cereal. You can find this chemical in fast foods and cheeses, sausages, fishes, and seafoods that are highly processed. And as a food additive, it acts as a stabilizer, moisturizer, and really just improves the appearance of some foods. For example, here is a picture of some squid noodles. And the brown ones do not have the additive. The white ones that do have the additive. So... You might be outraged at the fact that it's in your food, but you, without the knowledge of it in your food, are going to gravitate towards the foods that are treated with TSP. So do we need to avoid TSP in foods? Is it really that bad if it's generally recognized as safe? Are people just ignorant by saying, oh my gosh, it's paint thinner, it's bad? The problem is the phosphorus. Naturally occurring phosphorus the way you absorb it, you don't absorb all of the phosphorus in the food. You only absorb between 40 and 60%. And this is a great design because it's going to help prevent you from ever having too much phosphorus. Too much phosphorus leads to complications and it can become toxic if you have too much. More than 4,000 milligrams a day is toxic to the body. However, naturally, the phosphorus that you absorb, only 40 to 60% again. So you're not really going to have that risk. It's very hard to have toxic levels of phosphorus in a whole foods diet. These additives, it's an inorganic form of phosphorus, and your body does a very good job of absorbing it. You absorb 90% of the phosphorus in the inorganic form. So the phosphorus in the TSP that's being added to cereals and processed food is being absorbed like that. And that can really, again, lead to problems with toxicity, toxicity of phosphorus. Too much phosphorus can lead to increased risk of cardiovascular disease. And then if you have a complication such as renal failure, phosphorus is a, it's a mineral that you really have to monitor and not have too much of. So what, what do you do? Do you are truly outraged at this ingredient? I hate to tell you, this is just one of many. There's so many added, additives and chemicals in our food that are deemed safe and have been studied and looked at as safe, but they haven't been in our population in our diet for a long period of time. So we really, we really don't know the long-term effects of what these additives and chemicals are going to do for us in the long term. So my best piece of advice and advice that you'll usually see in most studies and most articles, it always comes to this one conclusion, well-balanced diet with whole foods, natural foods, and decreasing the amount of ultra processed and processed foods. So choosing the healthy things, looking for ingredients lists with just five or less, and you know everything in that ingredient list. And so this might mean going for the food that's not as convenient. Convenience comes at a cost. So again, if you're outraged, make the choice to put the work in and you'll avoid all of these additives that are safe now, but have a potential to really hindering your health if they are over consumed. Yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, comments, or thoughts, go ahead and leave them down below, and I'll see you in another video. Oh, and don't forget, hit that subscribe button.